Alright, hello and welcome back to the Big Ski Family. After a weekend camping adventure and working and serving at my father's camp, but then the kids needed some time to get down, to like rest, lay low. We'd been late nights, early mornings, working, going, social, lots and lots of people and activity. And, and with a big family, you gotta give them time to chill. Anyways, they went down for some R&R at my folks' place. Janice and I jumped on a plane Thursday morning early and headed to Phoenix, Arizona. And every year at this time, we go to a, an annual convention for a company that really came into our lives about 18, 19 years ago and has tremendously blessed our lives in so many ways. And the first and foremost is with health. I had health crises at 10 years old and Shortly after we got married, I had chronic fatigue, adrenal failure, flat on my back. I mean, wanting to be the best husband ever, the best father ever, couldn't even go to work. It was absolutely demoralizing, hard on me, especially hard on Janice. And by God's grace, about 19 years ago, this company came into our lives. And through the introduction of my brother and my cousin, Alan, and my brother, Dwight, and long story short, I've seen over the last 18 years better health than I experienced in all the years prior in my life due to taking whole food beyond organic natural supplementation. I take a lot of supplements, okay? I've had a lot of things I wanna overcome and I also have more stress and demand on my body than most. But I'll tell you what, these little packets right here, I take every single day and they are life-giving to me. I also put together a little bag of goodies every morning and I take these. Yes, that's a lot, but you know what? It's whole food and it supplements the, the missing things in my body. I've been tested for the things that I'm missing and I'll tell you what, this fills the gaps and to be able to be almost 50 years old, to be able to do the things I'm doing when I was 20, to feel like I have the energy to do an Ironman right now or run a marathon or chase my kids or my grandchildren or ski 63 days in a season or it doesn't matter what it is. To do this with an abundance of health is invaluable to me. And I really see new life as a daily part of my routine to allow this to happen. Yes, I try to eat well at other times as well, um, but this is the big difference maker. It's my secret weapon and it's an unfair advantage. And I am so grateful for it. That being said, it's not just our own personal family's experience. It has been the opportunity now over the last several years primarily to focus on sharing these products with other people. And yes, we built a business. It's a network marketing company. So you're like, no, network marketing. It can be an absolute blessing if you are willing to work hard and serve others. So we went off to this New Life convention and it is just like a family reunion. First of all, a lot of family there, my brother Dwight, his wife, Mary Lee, my cousin, Alan, his wife, Nicole, and I could go on and many other dear friends that might as well be family to me. As I mentioned, we saw all sorts of wonderful loved ones there. One of the ones, couples that was just so exciting for me to see was Bruce and Rachel Stevens. Rachel has uh, been diagnosed with a cancer that was very, very serious. And to see her there, she looked amazing. She looked like a picture of health. I believe she's going to beat this thing by God's grace. And I am so grateful. And it just makes me more grateful than ever for the, the work we get to do with Neil Life and seeing people supported in their health goals. Anyways, it's a time of celebration, of recognition. It's a time of learning, of learning from some of the best scientists in the world around uh, products and current science that help build cellular nutrition and, and wellness. And I love listening to these talks. It fuels my own desire to be a high performance human being and it allows me to train my mind so that I can share value with others. Anyways, it's a fun time. They had a uh, 20s kind of dress up party. So Janice and I and everybody there was able to dress up. dance steps. Denise and I have a huge desire to learn to dance better together. You know, scripture says there's a time to mourn, there's a time to dance. Boy, I'll tell you what, uh, I love it when it's a time to dance. I love to, to move and to get out and to be with my wife and, and others, uh, friends in a fun way. And so we learned to do a little bit of a Charleston, kind of cool, and a few little tidbits of uh, some Lindy Hop, just enough to wet our 
appetite and to make our feet sore because I was stepping all over Janice's feet. Anyways, it was just, again, so fun to see people sharing their personal transformations. Just a fun thing. This thing also provides income for us, so it's an important part of the freedom that we like to build into our life. People say, well, how do you afford to do what you do? Meal life is part of it. It's not all of it, but it's one of about four income sources that provides for our family in a really positive way. Um, and just that extra little bit can provide you and allow you to give more, serve more, and uh, travel, things like that. So it's a joy for us to go to these events, reconnect, read, engage our mind around the opportunity that's there to help and serve others, become better equipped in doing so, reconnect with loved ones and friends, and get some time for Janice and I to be together. Anyways, it was an awesome time. I've asked Caroline to share a little bit of her journey as she did a 56 mile hike with about seven or eight, uh, she'll give you the details, uh, other young ladies around Mount Hood. Sound like an amazing adventure. She learned a lot. It was a really, really great time. Caroline, take it away and share what you learned. So at the beginning of July, while my family took their mammoth trip, which you would have seen two episodes ago, I flipped from Bend, Oregon, and from there I took off for a nine-day backpacking trip. It turned into only a seven-day backpacking trip because I blew out one of my knees. Kind of a long story, but it was so much fun. Three of my cousins were on it, which was awesome to get to hang out with them. It was such a great, great group of girls. I think there are 10 of us all together. And my really good friend, Blanche Tadlock, who was 75, she turned 75 on the trip. She went with us and she just absolutely killed it. She was so great. And it was so fun because the whole time as we were going along, she would bring out little biblical principles and little things from nature and give us like little lessons here and there, which was super, super fun. So thank you, Blanche, for doing that. And then, oh, there were so many highlights. We got to stop at a lake, which was really fun. Kayla and I both decided to jump in and go ahead and bathe in the lake because, you know, nine days on the trail, you're wanting a shower or a bath, something to clean up. So that was a lot of fun. We hiked on our first day. We went over 4,000 vertical feet, and that was kind of a lot of work. It was all uphill for about nine miles, and we were tromping through poison ivy. So thank the Lord we didn't get that, so that was a plus. But it was just really fun. We got a tent, camp out in the woods. We were out there seven days, well, seven nights, and then we were hiking in five days. So we ended up at Timberline Lodge, which was at the base of Mount Hood. Beautiful, beautiful area. Super, super gorgeous. And it was really fun. We got to see like awesome flowers. The wildflowers were just going crazy. Waterfalls at the base of the mountain. I mean, it was just gorgeous. Anyway, such a fun time. And yeah, if you guys want to see like the full detailed version, I did a part one and part two over on my YouTube channel called The Life of a Girl. So you can head over there and check out the full thing if you want more pictures or videos or if you want to see the full adventure. You had to do it over again? Did you do it? Yeah, I would. I would do it over again. It's really fun. This is this was their fifth um, year doing it, so it's kind of an annual thing, and it's called Higher Ground. Is the like group, and yeah, if they do it next year, I would love to do it again. So it's a lot of fun. Thank you so much for following along. If you have curiosities around what we're talking about, either from a business standpoint or from a health crisis or a health support standpoint, maybe you just want to maintain optimum health, give us a shout out, direct message us, leave us a message, call us, whatever, and we'll support you in any way we can. And if not. Keep on doing what you're doing because if you found something that's working, it's really powerful. Um, don't mess that up. Anyways, love you all. We're so grateful for it, each one of you. Have a blessed day and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for following along.